Hey guys, it's Anne over at Plant Obsessed, and we are going to look in on the 55 gallon half barrel worm bin. Okay, take off all these things. I'm not sure if you can see this really well, but there are a couple of worms and a couple of cocoons on this piece of plastic. I'm going to try and put that aside nicely. And then same, I don't see any worms over there, but we'll, we'll put them together. And then this one, it's got a worm. All right, so last time we did our cheese experiment. So I wanted to take a look in here sooner than later and uh, kind of freehanding it this time so we can see up close what is going on. I think I remember it being, oh damn, was that a snail? Lost it. All right, if anybody sees it, let me know. Did I hallucinate that or was there a snail? Um, yeah, lots of springtails though. So I'm just gonna start shoving things aside here and until we get to the food. It must be a piece of plastic. I know that I put the old food down at one end. So the middle should be where the cheese feeding was. Sprout. Okay, I think we're getting closer here. I smell onions. I remember the cheese, but I don't remember what else I fed. Ah. Onion. That explains the onion smell. And let's kind of just bring this up, see what we've got. Well, it looks like the cheese is still intact. We do have a Nice worm ball. Kind of dig in here and see if there's anything else going on. Oh, well, let's see. Put this. It seems like I'm always doing the laundry when I come down here to do my. Oh, more worm ball. So they appear to be uh, doing a job on that but just not very quickly. So, they're working on it. Let's see. Yeah, still more, more worm ball. Potato. Yeah. So it looks like they're getting into everything. Certainly making an appearance for nice worm ball, which is nice. Let's look down at the other end and see if the old, old feeding is doing anything. Um, what are we doing? What are we growing is the question. What are the worms growing? Sticks from the bonsai. What do we got? Oh, look at that. Got a mango tree. I'm keeping that. I'll put that over there. No, I don't know why I keep feeling possessed to grow tropical things. Uh, I do bonsai. Oh, wait, here we got a shirt in here too. Is that another mango? Excellent. Look at that. 
Now, from what I understand, mangoes do not grow true to seed. So whatever kind of mango brand name or whatever that that was, uh, it won't turn out being like that, but still seems like a cool project to me. You can tell they are getting inside this onion. So again, I always kind of harp on the forbidden foods where people are like, oh, don't put onions in your bin. Um, yeah. Everything in moderation, and once it breaks down to a certain point, uh, the worms are fine with it. As long as they have some place to get away from, they're fine. Looks like the shirt is a popular location to hang out at. Just kind of churning this stuff up here to see if there's anything else in there. Looks like they're... Oh, some of the kind of granular, if you notice, some of the stuff looks a little I don't know, granular. That's the only word I got. Uh, that is the over, when I sift, the parts that stay on the over part, I usually will put back in one of the bins. And that's what that is. And eventually it will break down and become something that will sift. Something's making a worm ball here. I don't really know what that is. Is that another onion? Yep. It's another onion. Let's see. Anything else? Nope. Okay. Well, I'll make a little bit of a trench here and we'll bury up the t-shirt and the sticks. And I'll continue letting them make me some avocado, or not avocados, mango trees. I've got one that's kind of growing where they made it from last winter. Stick. But here they are. I'm just gonna bury them less, less deeply. So they can get some sunlight, maybe. Kind of get them adjusted there. I'll just try and remember that they are there. Okay. Well, get everything kind of stashed under there again. Kind of smooth everything out. It is starting to look pretty done. Let me know in your opinions in the in the comments below. Is it just me or is this starting to look real done? Aside from a few clumps of paper and and stuff, I'm really not seeing another onion. Um, not really seeing anything as far as the bedding goes that is left. So we might be looking at harvesting this in about a month or so. So back up again, and here we are. Got my little mango trees growing, whatever they may turn out to be when they grow up. The moisture is really good, so I'm gonna continue putting those extra lids on since the, uh, if it was getting mucky in any way, I would leave these off, but it is not, so. I think it's best to not mess with whatever's working at the moment. So I'll put the little lids back on and we will call it a day. If you like the video, give it a muddy thumbs up. Pretty muddy today, huh? If you're not a member of my worm family, click that subscribe button. And if you want to know what I'm doing when I'm doing it, ring that bell icon. All right, guys, thanks for hanging out with me and my worms and everybody have a good day.